welcome back to the Disability Channel. Uh, make sure to follow us on our new feed, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. So make sure to follow us. And here we have Lee, who is one of the students from Talent Eat Canada. So we're about to get started. Yes. All right. Thank you. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Caleb Esbrook. I'm uh, 16 years old. I uh, live in Timmins, Ontario. A am a student in um, Ecole Secondaire Catholique Théo, which is in French. And uh, I, I speak fluent French. I speak, well, English, French, and I even speak a little Spanish. So, um, wow. yep. That, that's pretty good. That's mm -hmm. really good. And what is your success story with Talent in Canada? How long have you been doing it and how did that become about? Well, um, well, I don't know if I would call it a success story at this point, but everything about Talent Inc. that, well, I love it. I love it so much. I mean, I've been involved in it for um, three years. So um, story time, really. Um, so it all started and may 2018 when uh, my friends i my, okay um sorry just uh, my my mom's friend um this um just got in like a fake got like a video and then so and then saw something about uh, bringing talent forward and that's the slogan of talent in canada so and then when i heard about uh, John and Doug, which were the owners of Talent in Canada, um, coming home to uh, Timmins, I was, um, my mom uh, told, told me I can, uh, I can do it. So, so I went to the workshop um, and I learned a few things. Um, and man, um, these two are special people, you know that? They really are. Um, so so yeah i did the i did i did it um so gosh, it's really like we'll talk about some of your conferences you've been at. well okay um i know it's hard to really explain but but um during my first conference uh i i did well but i really didn't get a lot of um critics and response really which was okay but um I did it again the next year, and turns out, turns out I changed my look, I changed my um, my acting stuff because I I learned more as I go on. And and yes, I got response, but uh, at this time period in COVID, it's um, not looking too good. I mean, I I've, I've gotten auditions, but I couldn't really go anywhere. Okay. Aside from working with Talent Inc., do you have any hobbies? I have a few hobbies. Um, so, uh, I, okay, main thing is I like to watch movies, all kinds. But I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of horror. But I am a big fan of um, of comedies and stuff like that. Um, so anyways, I like to play video games. I like to play board games such as chess. Uh, like like to play some words and number games like Sudoku, and I like to listen to music, pop and country. Yep, and I and I do a thing called uh, Reach for the Top, and it's sort of like a Jeopardy but um, Canadian, but a Canadian way. Oh, good! I'm I'm really I'm really um, happy for you. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. What is the most re most rewarding part of working with Talent Inc. Canada? Hmm. Most rewarding, huh? Well, most rewarding with Talent Inc. I say um, is meeting new people, meeting new, meeting new friends and teachers, and uh, lear learning new skills along the way. And um, and yeah, every everyone part of Talent Inc. Um, well, it's just talent Inc. here. It's it's just a way to um really express myself in front of um 
a live audience with live agents and live people here just going and it's it's some it's it's something that I did not experience before, but as as it turns out, as it goes on, it um worked out pretty well. I, I it's just I feel open sometimes because when I was really young, okay, another story time. I did um a dance recital when I was like seven years old, and the first time I went on stage on by myself with um uh, a lot of um few little girls, but um, like, you know, in the back of me or in the front of me here. Uh, I was I was a little nervous before starting, but um, I kept going, kept, kept doing the moves and stuff, dancing. And um, I, I was okay. I was just fine. I, and the more I, the more I do it, the more I feel comfortable being on stage. And, and I've got to gotten used to this and well, yeah, it's, some people I know don't really have the courage to uh, being on stage a lot because they're really nervous. But sometimes I like to encourage encourage people to do that here because it's just like be like be yourself and just do what you do what you have to do. Okay. Yeah, that is so true. That is yep. so true. Oh, um, if um, Janine, um, if, if Janine Olman was here, shout outs to her and. Of the agency of um, 46 parallel agents management you know agency all right well, perfect um we're going to take a, a commercial break okay and we'll, we'll be back in just a few seconds mm -hmm. and we will continue from there all right okay sure So, welcome back. Welcome back to Keeping It Real with Nick. We are we're gonna we're going to continue into the interview with the lady, and so let's keep going. So, since COVID hit in 2020, how did you cope with it since it started, and how? Are you handling with the lockdowns and how did that make an impact on your life or didn't make an impact on your life and can you tell us what you have been doing during this hard time that we, we all have been experiencing well um when the pandemic started i um you know i didn't really ex and experienced a pandemic like this one here like this one's really big and when that mm -hmm. pandemic COVID-19 started it uh, it was really hard for me to adjust just myself because um every day I have a I have a routine I do so it's like get like wake up take a shower eat breakfast just um dress up go to school and then do it come back take a break homework eating, watch a movie, and then I, that's it, I go to bed, which is perfect. But, um, you know, when that, when it started, it, and um, when school started luck, started, uh, you know, shut down for, um, for the whole, for the whole uh, spring and summer, I was, um, I was shocked, and uh, I didn't know what else to do. Because, uh, well, I couldn't really go anywhere. Like, like anywhere in the public here. And now I, now I think I'm used to it, but it just helps me um, that I can go back to school. And so, and by me handling the lockdown, I think it's, I think it's fine. And uh, yeah, but it's, it's made me a little worried about some being, being around, being around with people often. I just, I don't have the courage enough yet, but trust me, when this is done, we're, we're going to start things over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and because I'm a, because I like to be alone in be home, the lockdowns, um, impact my, didn't really impact my life and, uh, that much. 
like not like it's a not like it's affected my family and stuff who who um you know my dad's a so he's a he's a t tatter tale <laughs> well he's he just, he just, well, he just a, a big big chatter box here so is my family they like socializing um and i've been and during this time i've kept i've been uh, keeping myself busy during these difficult times um did did some school assignments did online classes and i even did i even did um a little workshop with uh talent in canada too um with john and doug which were um voiceovers and monologues which were two new things i, I i'm learning and oh, um, and yeah and yeah it's, Oh, good. You're you're still uh, being active and proactive. I'm I'm impressed by what 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 you've been doing. I'm really happy for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Can you tell me and our viewers at the disability channel, is there a person with disabilities or doesn't have a disability who has had a positive impact on your life? well um you technically the only person that has been a, been a big support part of um, my life is my mom she's she's nice smart she may be a little strict but um she, she always um te she always teach me new things and teach me how to be in the right direction in, in life um aside from my family i had several teachers um who have impacted my life um, positively all, all the way since um, when I was in um, kindergarten and primary school and up to this day in high school. And and, and lastly, um, John and Doug too, who in town Tank, who from this day, um, they have encouraged me to, to work towards my dreams of um, be, being an actor and are always here to help, help me out whenever I need them. Oh, good. And and what about your father? <laughs> well, my uh, my father's my uh, plan B, you know. In what way? Hmm. How am I the plan B? It's because I'm the big kidder. Well, um, well, well, not really. It's just, it's just that um, I'm not mom. Okay, okay. Look, you're. I know you're not perfect like her okay I, I i know you're not all right just or just you 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 help with other things right like you like you she helps me um like okay i mean he helps me with my um some some of my uh for my my act my actings and my movements whenever we're doing an audition or a spell tape so um yeah he's like he's he's more of a a um, security guy, guard guy, and also a cameraman, uh -huh. which, which is which is cool, which is cool. But I'm not perfect like my man. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> okay, Every, okay, okay, look, look, look. Like they say, not everybody's perfect. That's true. Well, that is very true. <laughs> I, I know I'm not perfect at times, but that's how life goes. Yeah. We all have to, um, we, we all have to, um, stay confident, stay healthy, stay safe. And that's, we, we need that sometimes in our lives. And also don't pick on your father too much. All right. That's good. But, and the best thing is mm -hmm. just be, just be yourself. That's all that matters. Yeah. That's what being a human being is all about. Mm -hmm. And thank you for being, and also being on the Disability Channel is quite an opportunity to be on. And thank you for being part of it. And is there anything else you would like to bring up or mention on the, on the Disability Channel? Um, no, not really. I mean, it's. It's um, it's, it's how been, it's how we've been, it's how I'm doing right now, 
and um, right now I'm just doing the best I can. Yeah, thank and um, thank you, thank you so much for having me here. Okay, and thank you for being on with us, and thank you for um, staying in tune with Cute Away with Nick and the Disney Channel, and thank you to your to your father for being for helping you and getting you on the, the get getting on this or live stream and also stay safe stay healthy and also make sure to follow me on facebook i'm on facebook i'm on instagram twitter linkedin youtube uh, make sure you follow me on instagram i have an art nick uh, facebook page and kitty boy with nick facebook page and also i now on instagram as well so please feel free to follow me on those pages so stay healthy stay safe and thanks for watching and thank you guys for being on yeah you're very welcome nick. thanks to you too nick this is a fantastic opportunity for for caleb and for yourself thanks for uh, having him and being part of it Appreciate it. You're, you're, you're very welcome.